day 180. After uh, throwing away, well, putting this uh, McDonald's trash that I found on the road in the neighborhood, um, I uh, also got some uh, diesel fuel so it's nice and toasty when I get it painted and I paint. And also, earlier today, uh, well, last night actually, I was worried because I, for some reason, thought, well, you know what? Like, a lot of stuff was blocking this one section right here of the cabinet wall that I would have to, that I would want to paint too as well. But this morning, I just came by and I also just moved everything, pushed it so you can easily paint it. And I'm so glad by that because that had me worried a little bit all throughout the night a little bit. And now what I'm thinking about is getting a, a tarp that's a decent size that I can just put on the ground while this whole thing is painted. So that way it's not so cumbersome on the inside here. And I think that's a pretty good idea. Also, I think that'll be a pretty good idea so I can easily clean and get all the dust out and everything. And I'm back from Home Depot. I got one six by eight tarp and also I got a 20 by 30 feet tarp. You always overdo it. That's the best thing to make sure nothing bad happens. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna lay it all out. I'm gonna basically take all the stuff and lay it down over there under, uh, in the tarp. Basically, I'm gonna fold it over it because I think it's wide enough Wow, that's freakishly huge. I definitely think I can fit my stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, and I'll fold it over maybe twice. And now, this is what this looks like. I got a lot of this stuff out, and soon, it will be this color on all the plywood. That was really the heaviest stuff right there, getting all that out. And also, I kind of got some of the water up and everything, and some of the dirt out of it. They still gotta clean it and everything, but yeah, it's better now with the shower pan at least. Put this stuff right there because I will move this over to right there when we're at this area. So, yeah. The only issue with the bedroom is uh, I'll have to be under here doing the underside right there with paint. So, there's that. And also, the back is clear too. So, I think this is very easy to move around and everything. And the only thing I have to really, all right, I'm back. I just coughed. The only thing I really have to uh, move now is this from the wall and just lay it down. And I'll probably, you know what? I need to move some of that stuff, but that won't be too much of an issue. And I can definitely just place it somewhere I want. So what I'm gonna do now, let's go ahead and wrap up all the stuff I put out.
And what I've just done, basically, I tied a rope around some eyelet holes on the uh, most top fold I had and staked it down so that this cannot budge whatsoever. And I think that's pretty secure. And then also what I've done is I put a couple, well, not a couple, around six or seven uh, silica gel packets that I got, uh, one of the big ones, about big as my palm, basically. Um, I put those on top. So any humidity or anything won't be too much of an issue and it'll just be here for a night or two. All right, now let's go fill these two diesel tanks up. All right, so now let's remove this and put it on the floor. Well, that floor. Wow, I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult than it really was since I put that very flexible propane line in there. That's so much easier than using, where is it? This pretty difficult to even bend line. And I'm just keeping it just for a little bit so in case I need for anything. All right, I'm just gonna go around and make sure everything's very secure. Screw that down and make sure everything's very secure. And then I'm definitely gonna have to sand some more and make sure everything is perfectly ready for tomorrow.
Now it's time to vacuum. Everything. And now I figured I go ahead and show you the cleanest it's been with the flooring and everything before I paint it. I think that's a pretty good thing. I'm definitely ready for tomorrow. Definitely. Everything's vacuumed, and the only thing that's dirty a little bit is some parts of the floor, like exactly right here. It's got a little bit of dust, and like right under there, it's got a little bit of dust, but honestly, it's gonna be covered, so I don't really think that'll matter at all with the paint or the primer. And since I'm feeling way too ready, I'm going to try and calm down by just calling it a day. I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow. Maybe with some updates. Mm -hmm.